Hi friends, how's everyone doing? I'm back and I have some fun activities for us today. We are going to go on a nature walk today. I actually already took my walk, um, but I'm gonna share with you first some rules before we take, before you would take your walk because it's very important that we are safe when we take a walk, right friends? Because there's so many important rules. And did you know that if you take a nature walk, it's good exercise. Walking is good exercise for us, just like sometimes we do that in the gym when we play red light, green light. And also sometimes if you're close enough, if your friend lives beside you, you can walk to their house. Or sometimes some people live close enough to walk to their school or to go shopping. And it's always fun to take walks. But number one, what's one important rule? We should always have our parent with us if we're taking a walk. And also, because it's fun to take walks, it's also not cool sometimes because if people are not safe, that they can get injured walking or they could also um, get hurt. And we don't want that to happen when we're taking our walks. So we always need to make sure we're safe. So first of all, when we get to the end of our sidewalk, friends, what should we do? It's the same thing we play in red light, green light. If What should we do at the end of a sidewalk or a curb? Yes, we should stop first. And then sh we should always look left and right to see if there's any traffic coming, any cars in the street. And what should we do if we see a car, friends? What should we do then? We should stop and keep looking until we see no cars at all. Now, what if there's a car parked right along the road? Do you think it's still safe to go out in front of that car? Well, first you should always check and see if someone's in that car driving because even if the car is parked, someone could be in there and they could be getting ready to drive that car. So that's not always safe just if a car is parked. And then if we go to the edge of the car, should we look left and right, even if the car is parked to see if it's moving or if any other cars are moving? Yes, we definitely need to do that. And then if no cars are coming, should we run or should we just safely walk and still look both ways while we're walking? Yes, we should just continue to keep walking. And then when we're walking, we should always stay up on the sidewalk if we're able to. But if we're not able to stay on the sidewalk, we should walk facing traffic and we should always be safe. And what color clothes should we wear, friends, if we're out walking? Should we wear dark clothes that no one can see us in? No, that's not very safe. We should have bright colored clothes on like bright orange or bright yellow or red, something bright so that if, if people are out driving, they can see us while we're walking. But walking is a great way to get exercise and also it's really fun. So we're gonna talk about taking a nature walk, but these are some rules we need to follow before we would take our walk. So before you also go on your walk, there's this paper in your packet and it says, I have five senses. So if you wanna go ahead and get that out of your packet and all you'll need for this activity is some glue. And then if you have some scissors, because at the bottom of this packet, there were little eyes and an ear. Miss Becky just already cut hers out in a mouth. And then also, if you want to get some markers out, I have some markers here and right here to color on your paper. So when we go out on our walk, friends, did you know that we can use our senses to be able to look at things and hear things and smell things around us. So we're gonna go ahead and do this paper. I'm gonna bring you down here so you can see this. Okay, so first of all on our paper, it says sight. So we did talk about this. I talked about this in my video on Monday. What do we use for our sight friends? Yes. We use our eyes to see with. And remember we talked about things we could see. So we're gonna put that there. And then if you wanna get one of your markers and color your eye, 
and you can color all of this. I'm just going to do the eye right now. Okay, so then it says, I have five senses and I can smell. So what would be something we use to smell with on our face, friends? You're right, it's our nose. We use our nose to smell with. And there's so many good things we can smell. Like I said yesterday, we can smell food. We can smell grass outside. We can smell candles if a candle's burning. So that's the nose. So then after that, we have sound. What do we use to hear sound with friends? It's on our face. Yes, we use our ears to listen with. So you can go ahead and color your ear. And what kind of sounds do you like to listen to, friends? I really, Miss Becky really likes to hear music with my ears. I love when we get to play music in the classroom with our instruments. And I also like to hear the birds. All right, so what's something we use to touch with? Yes, our hands. So I'm gonna color our hand, my hand. And what are some things that you could touch? I like to touch my dog at home and pet him and feel his fur. I think it's fun when I'm outside. If I was outside and there was sand, like a sandbox, it'd be fun to touch the sand. So there's the hand. And then what do we use to taste with, friends? What's something we use to taste? Yes, we use our mouth. So I'm gonna get my marker out and color my mouth. So, that one, so I'm gonna bring you up here. So before you go on your walk, go ahead and think about things that you want to see with your eyes. Hear with your ears, touch with your hands, taste, and smell. And that'll be a way, a really fun way to start your walk off. So when you go on your walk, if you want to, you could take some paper with you and uh, maybe a marker to draw some things you see, or you can have your mom and dad take the phone or a camera and take some pictures and then come back and draw what you see, however you want to do it. Miss Becky already took my nature walk. And so when you come back in from your nature walk, here's this paper and it says, my five senses nature's walk. And it says to draw the things you see, draw the things you hear, draw the things you touch, draw the things you smell and draw the things that you should not taste. So we're going to go ahead and do this together. Before we get started, though, I'm going to show you a few pictures that I took while I was out on my nature walk. So first, right here, I took a picture of, I don't know if you can see it real well, but there's a tree with some snow. Can you see the tree with the snow? And I also took a picture of some snow because we have a lot of snow out there right now. And I took a picture of a cat that I saw outside and a tree that looks like it lost all of its leaves. So go ahead and take some pictures and then you can bring it home, bring the pictures home and you can either draw them on some paper like this or you can fill out this paper and do it that way. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring you down and we're gonna work on this paper together, okay? So it says my five senses and first, what's the first thing we have to do? Yeah, we have to put our name on the top. So I'm gonna write my name. And it says, draw the things that you see. So one of the things I showed you a picture of that I saw was a cat. So I'm gonna draw a picture of a cat right there that I saw on my nature walk. There's my cat right there. 
And then it says, draw the things that you hear. So on my nature walk, I could hear some cars driving. I could hear, I didn't really hear a lot of sounds. It was kind of quiet today. So I'm just gonna draw a picture of a car, okay? On my paper. I didn't really hear any birds today, but sometimes you can hear birds when you're out driving. So there's a picture of my car. And then it says, draw things that you could touch. Well, you know what Miss Becky wanted to touch. I wanted to touch the snow. So I'm gonna just use my blue marker again and draw some snow on my picture and some little snowflakes, even though it wasn't snowing, but I still could see the snow. So that was something that I wanted to touch with my hands. And what do you think snow would feel like, friends? My snow, it would probably feel cold, I mean wet. Next, it asks to draw the things that you could smell. I could smell, actually when I was outside, I could smell some, um, trees that were out there. There were some leaves on the trees and I could kind of smell them in the air because they were wet. So I'm going to draw a picture of a tree that I could smell. And then it says to draw things that you should not taste. Do you think that you should really taste the snow if you're outside? No, you probably shouldn't be putting it in your mouth because you don't know if there were any animals in it or anything like that. So I'll draw that. So I'm gonna pick you up here. So these are the things on my nature walk that I got to see with my senses and smell and taste and touch. So go ahead and fill that paper out and go ahead and send a picture to me on Dojo so that I can see what it looks like and have fun on your nature walk. It's actually nice out, the weather's nice out and the sun was coming out. So I had a lot of fun on my nature walk. So next up for you, I have a learning game. It's 171 and parents, this learning game is all about reading a story to your child. And while you're reading it, you can stop in the middle of the story and ask questions and also see if they wanna predict what's gonna happen in the story when it happens. So I have today for you Curious George Snowy Day because we've had some snowy days the past couple of days. And it's written by Rotem Mosovich, okay? George was up to a wonderful surprise. It had snowed all night, just like it did here. George was curious about all that clean white snow. Maybe he could build something out of it. What do you think he should build out of the snow, friends? Have you, any of you gone out and played in the snow and built anything? You go outside, George, said that man with the yellow hat. I'll make us some cocoa for later. That was going to be a perfect day. George went out to play. Uh-oh. He sank right into the fluffy powder. Look, he went right into the snow. Bill, George's friend and neighbor, came by. He did not have any trouble walking on the snow. Hey, George, Bill said, I have an extra pair of cross-country skis you can have. Friends, what do you think you would do with skis? Then Bill showed George how to ski by making zigzags through the snow. George could not wait to try it for himself. What do you think is going to happen when he tries it for himself? Do you think he's going to fall or do you think he'll do good? With skis, George stayed on top of the snow and he followed Bill uphill. Suddenly they heard a noise. Oink, oink, oink. Bill said, I'm going to find out what that is. Would you wait here? could be the sound. What do you think? George waited on the top of the hill in the cold. His house looked so small and warm. George wanted to get home for his cocoa. Was Bill coming back? 
Hey, George, Bill shouted from the bottom of the hill. I couldn't find whatever made that sound, but I have to head home now. Keep the skis and have fun. So George did for a while. Looks like he's having a lot of fun with those skis. When George was tired, he skied down the hill towards home until he hit a rock. His skis flew off and George tumbled the rest of the way down the hill. Is that what you thought was gonna happen? Remember Miss Becky said, do you think he's gonna fall? Or what do you think was gonna happen? George picked himself up at the bottom of the hill. What would he do now? He spotted two children pulling a sled. They were walking on the snow, but they did not have skis. How did they do it? It had to be those wide flat shoes they wore. Vinny, I think he likes our snowshoes, the girl said. George nodded. Vicky and I live on the other side of the hill, said Vinny. If you come home with us, we'll lend our snowshoes so you can get home too. Climb aboard the sled. It was fun and down another hill, but now George was even further from his house. Here you go, monkey, Vicky said. She gave George her snowshoes and climbed on the sled. Bye, monkey, good luck. How do you think George is gonna get back to his house? George began his long journey home. He was cold and tired and climbing up the hill was hard work. What do you think that is behind him climbing up the hill? Yep, that's his footprints. He thought of a nice steaming cup of cocoa and that kept him going. Oink! George looked up. There was that noise again. He decided to follow it. A cold lost pig. What was he doing out here all by himself and how could George rescue the poor pig? George remembered how Vicky and Vinny had rescued him. What George needed was a sled. It had to be a flat and big enough one for the pig to sit on. A fallen sign nearby looked like a good choice. What a ride. When George got home, he found his neighbor, Farmer Rankins, talking to the man with the yellow hat. Thanks for bringing the pig home, George, the farmer said. He got out last night before it snowed. Good work, George, said the man with the yellow hat. There's Coco waiting for you inside. That was exactly what George had hoped to hear. Skiing, snowing, sledding, and now Coco. It had been the perfect snowy day. What a good story for the snowy week we're having. So parents, try that learning game, find a book at home, and just ask some questions while you're reading the book and see if you can predict what's going to happen. It's a lot of fun. All right, friends, that's all I have for now. Have a good day, everyone, and I'll see you soon.